Welcome to South Shields on this second Sunday in September and we would normally be either not very numerous in church or running quickly out of church because this weekend should be the Great North Run and we would usually normally all be on the road outside St Margaret's at the end of the Nook supporting those people who are running the Great North Run to raise money for amazing charities or to fulfil their own personal challenges so our prayers this week are for those people who had had been training and who had been looking forward to it this year and who are uh, many of them finding ways to run that distance in their gardens or around an alternative route or things through this week. Um, I would love it if you knew there were people running and would like to donate to their charities anyway. There are so many good causes in this region and further afield and we will miss the characters that we usually come into contact with when they stop to see us on the route and we hope that they will stay safe so that we will see them next year. So we are undernumbered anyway and running away despite it not being the Great North Run because we are managing on our shorter services with fewer people. Our new service time is now, um, well maybe not embedded but it now exists and so this week was group two of people to be a part of worship. Um, there is one service that has a few, uh, m a few more spaces than others. So if you are feeling that you would like to be able to try and come back to worship and you haven't been yet, um, do please let me know because we, we could do with easing you into that particular pattern of services. But if you just need to turn up, then that's absolutely fine. Some notices for us this week. Um, Great North Run this week, the schools are back, so it was an utter joy to see the photographs of all of our children looking um, very excited to be able to be back in their classrooms with their friends, perhaps more excited than their parents were a little anxious in letting them go, but the children's photographs looked fabulous. Some of the photographs where there were before and after, that was more than funny. Um, but we hope that they will stay safe and we hope that our teachers have got uh, to the end of a week still with their uh, sanity and their health intact. But the Great North Run means we're part way through September and that means that we are also heading quickly towards our harvest season. Um, we do have a pattern in plan for October. Um, we're probably not going to run a harvest service twice in the buildings. Um, we, uh, we will have harvest service online, but we probably won't replicate that twice in the buildings. So if you would like to bring donations for the food bank, uh, donations of tinned food or toiletries or um, milk, uh, cartons of milk, all of the things that the, the food bank would uh, normally need, probably not pasta. Um, are probably not tomatoes in tins because they'll probably be re uh, on um, ration by then as well but if you have got the opportunity to either bring with you or to a worship service that you are at whether it's defined as harvest or not or to the vicarage then the food bank would be hugely grateful for any donations that you could make half term will be coming super fast and there will also be I suspect the need for making sure that there are emergency parcels for isolation if people need them so please um, do feel free throughout the rest of September and the first week in October to contribute towards the uh, the food banks gathering for harvest out of your generosity. It doesn't have to be fresh, um, but it will be uh, gratefully received and um, gratefully used. Secondly, what's on my list? Uh, oh yes, the music group. So the music group obviously haven't been playing and singing for the last uh, few weeks in worship. Um, but there is still online worship and the, the music group have been joining together singing with Bill through lockdown and uh, Harvest is our next opportunity to sing together. It's a classic, it's morning has broken so you can't possibly not know it. You don't have to be in the music group if you would like to be able to join in creating a big sing along of morning has broken for Harvest then um, please do get in touch with Bill Vincent and he will give you everything you need to be able to record. I think he'll probably say he would like them before the end of September um, and that can be 
a, a, a singing voice, it could be a, an instrument, it could be something percussive if you would like. Uh, Morning Has Broken is the next sing-along together. The service this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whenever you're listening to it, um, is led by Paul and Christine Blakey and um, the reflection is uh, from Anne Blair Vincent on a book written by uh, somebody I know quite well, Andrew Grayson, and um, the song which works through that is um, a fabulous song that usually is heard at Greenbelt Festival um, and if you have um, something percussive or instrumental that you might want to have the hand to join in with that at home online then you have got time to go and get it now um, a vuvuzela or something would be perfect I think you will realize that when you listen to uh, maybe need to press pause and go and get something to join in with at that point Lots of prayers this week for those people who are grieving. We seem to be doing lots of funerals at this moment in time. So as you uh, join your prayers to ours this week, uh, I would ask them for all those who grieve. Um, but also we are looking towards our um, celebrations with harvest and things like that. And we uh, look for our celebrations this week and that includes Poppy. Poppy was five, had a beautiful birthday tea from our photograph so happy birthday Poppy. Can't wait to be able to sing to you when we can. Um, we have got people who are struggling a little bit as well as grieving so um, as we go into a time of prayer this evening um, you can gather as many people as you have on your hearts and hold them in God's presence. This weekend is Heritage Open Day. We should have bunting out and lots of things going on in church. Um, it's very difficult to do that when we're not really sure uh, what the plan is or what will happen by next week. So this week we have had, um, Ernie Russell's had his uh, graveyard records and um, Jean Stokes has taken a tour of our churchyard at St Peter's. The plan is that that will also happen next Saturday, Saturday the 19th as well. Uh, we are a little bit at the um, uh, beck and call of the rules. Uh, it is COVID secure. They are small groups. There's no more than five in a group of the tour. And um, you'll be talking to Ernie one on one for uh, anything you would like to find out about the churchyard. Um, at this point in time, we think it may happen. It may well be that we move it online. We are very conscious that we may well be in a local lockdown uh, scenario next weekend there may well be some sort of interventions extending over the next few days um, at the moment that does not affect worship in the sense of us leading worship if you uh, feel that you are happier staying at home rather than coming that's absolutely fine if you want to let us know that then we don't worry about you that's great um, we will um, take things a day at a time and uh, should you need and it's, if there is stuff we need you to know we will do that um, for the moment, we anticipate worship continuing. I will take proactive and preemptive steps if we feel that the way things are going around here are just too dangerous and, uh, and we need to, to call a halt. Um, I'm happy to do that and answer to the bishop afterwards. Don't worry, I will do my best to endeavour to keep you all safe. If you need uh, my understanding, it has not been easy to get but my understanding is that there is a mobile testing unit which has been at Temple Park and uh, is at Little Haven next week or um, should be one between the other should you need a Covid test over this next week. Um, I do know that it wasn't that easy to get to despite the fact that uh, it was there in the parish. Um, there may well be more information and information that is circulated from the council I will have and so if you need to ask please do. Worship this afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you are listening to it, uh, calls us to um, seek out, root out injustice and oppression because we are a people of peace and one day, one day, peace will reign. Do please enjoy our worship today, whether you are in Hartnick Cleden Park, whether you are far away and listening 
joining with us virtually whether you've been to church already whether you are fearful of coming back whether you are only joining us online and have never set foot in the place before you are welcome please be blessed stay safe and enjoy worship hello and welcome to worship at Hart and St Peter's and St Mark's and St Cuthbert's on this not the great North London day Let not your hearts be troubled, said the Lord. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. The Lord be with you. And also with, with you. you. The Lord our God reigns. Let, Let us, us rejoice and, and shout for joy and, and give him glory. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Direct our thoughts, teach us to pray, lift up our hearts to worship you, in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world and knows our every word and deed. Let us then open ourselves to the Lord and confess our sins in penitence and faith. We have willfully misused your gifts of creation. Lord, Lord be, be merciful. merciful. We have seen the ill treatment of others and we have not gone to their aid. Lord, Lord be, be merciful. merciful. We have heard the good news of Christ but have failed to share it with others. Lord, Lord be, be merciful. merciful. We have not loved you with our hearts nor our neighbours as ourselves. Lord, be, be merciful. merciful. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with us. He is our stronghold. God will help at the break of day. God, God is, is our, our refuge and strength. strength ready to help whenever we are in trouble. 
We will not fear, even if the earth shakes and the mountains topple into the sea. Come, Come now and, and look at the, the works, works of, of the Lord, the, the awesome, awesome things, things he, has he has done on earth. earth. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The, the Lord, Lord is, is with us. us. He, he is, is our stronghold. God will help us at the, the break of day. day. Merciful God, your Son came to save us and bore our sins on the cross. May we who trust in your mercy and know your love, rejoicing in the righteousness that is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Realising that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers said, What if Joseph still bears a grudge against us and pays us back in full for all the wrong that we did to him? So they approached Joseph, saying, Your father gave this instruction before he died. Say to Joseph, I beg you, forgive the crime of your brothers and the wrong they did in harming you. Now therefore, please forgive the crime of your servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also wept, fell down before him and said, We are here as your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Even though you intend to do harm to me, God intended it for good in order to preserve a numerous people, as he is doing today. So have no fear, I myself will provide for you and your little ones. In this way, he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. Your word is a lantern to our feet. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Welcome those who are weak in faith but not for the purpose of quarrelling or over-opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honour of the Lord. Also those who eat, Eat in honour of the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain, abstain in honour of the Lord and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For, for to this end Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us will be accountable to God. Your word is a lantern to our feet. Alleluia, alleluia. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, 
How often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him, and, as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves, who who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then this fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and they went and reported to their lord all that had taken place. Then his lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A very personal reflection. As a young child, I was already aware of injustice, and although I wouldn't have understood or been able to explain it, I could see that some children had a very different experience of life to me. In my mind's eye, I can still see Michael in my class when I was maybe six or seven, always dirty, in ill-fitting clothes, with a permanently snotty nose. I didn't know or understand anything about him, but I can still remember the shock I felt on hearing someone, presumably from the local authority, tell him that if he didn't come to school on time, he would have to have a bed and sleep in the school. Whatever else I didn't know, I knew that was so unfair. As a teenager, I found myself always on the edge, more aware by then about injustice in the wider world and with all the arrogance of youth absolutely sure that my generation would make a much better job of looking after each other and the world than my parents generation had done. Fast forward 45 years and I find myself hanging on if sometimes only by the tips of my fingernails to hope. As for everyone I'm sure the last few months are given much food for thought Social media can be a source of much needed humour for me, as well as a fan to the flames of anger and frustration that I still feel about the injustices of the world. But thankfully it was through Twitter that I came across Andrew Greystone. You may have seen the photo of him standing outside his local mosque on the day after the mass shooting at the Christchurch Mosque in New Zealand. He's holding a homemade sign which says simply, You are my friends. I will keep watch while you pray. Andrew has now written a book, which I've just read almost in one sitting. It's called Faith, Hope and Mischief, Tiny Acts of Rebellion. So much of what he says resonates with me. It's a book of true stories and it's about what he calls everyday activism. He says, everyday activism is not to save the planet or to change the world. Either of these things would be such a burdensome, impossible task for any human being that they would most certainly be broken in the task. The task of the everyday activist is simply to find the good things that are going on and nurture them. In the chapter entitled One Day, he writes about the Sunday morning communion service at Greenbelt Festival, which would in normal circumstances have taken place over the bank holiday weekend. In 2016, the whole communion service was hosted by children and at the heart of the celebration was the song, One Day. It's based on Isaiah 11 
and as he says, feel free to sing it alone or together, or of course to make up your own words. So thank you for writing your book, Andrew. My hold on hope is tighter now. One day, wolves will lie down in the same field as little lambs, and the wolves will look after the lambs, and the lambs will teach the wolves how to sing. One day, young goats will lie down to sleep snuggled up next to big scary leopards. One day, tasty calves and hungry young lions will share the same feeding trough. One day, cats will offer to take dogs out for walkies, and dogs will learn to scratch cats behind the ears. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Saturday. One day we will live in peace and the little child will leave One day the Jedi and the Sith will join forces and use the power of the Force for the good of the galaxy. One day Draco Malfoy will invite Harry Potter round to his house for Lego and a sleepover. One day PCs will say to Max, have I ever told you how elegant you look? And Max will say to PCs, that's very kind but I owe everything to you in the first place. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Friday. One day we will live in peace and a little child will leave them. One day, men and women will be paid the same amount for doing the same job. Simple as that. Nothing else to say about that one, really. End of. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Thursday. One day we will live in peace and a little child will lead them. One day Tom will make friends with Jerry and Sylvester will stop chasing Tweety Pie. One day He-Man will shake hands with Skeletor and Batman and the Joker will join forces to clean up Gotham City. One day the Montagues will invite the Capulets over for tea and say how nice it's going to be to be one big happy family. One day the Beals and the Mitchells will sit down for Christmas dinner together in Albert Square and nobody will throw anything or call anyone else a Muppet. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Wednesday. One day we will live in peace and a little child will lead them. One day, the fans of Newcastle United and Sunderland, Rangers and Celtic, Liverpool and Everton will sit side by side on the same terrace and cheer when each other's teams score. One day the biggest bully in the school will walk home hand in hand with the smallest kid and the smallest kid will help the bully do their homework. One day brothers and sisters will share their toys and not argue over who has to go to bed first or what they want to watch on TV. One day kids will laugh at their dad's jokes without even trying. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Tuesday. One day we will live in peace and a little child will lead them. One day women will be able to walk home at night and if they hear footsteps behind them it will only make them feel safer. One day men and women, gay and straight, will share everything from changing rooms to churches. One day, no one will be interested in what kind of school you went to, or whether you went to university, or what your father did for a living. One day, prison doors will be flung open, and prisoners and the people they have hurt will throw their arms around each other. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Sunday. One day we will live in peace and a little child will leave them. One day, politicians from every party will sit around in a circle and work together to bring about justice. 
One day the people of America will embrace the people of Mexico. The people of Britain will swap recipe tips with the people of Europe and the children of Syria will work together to rebuild their country. One day Protestants and Catholics will worship side by side in a language they don't even understand and no one in the church will feed the need to talk about gender and sexuality anymore. One day there'll be a black James Bond or even Jamelia Bond for that matter. One day Democrats and Republicans will listen to each other to choose a leader they can all respect and trust. One day all the passport booths at ports and airports will be replaced by welcome desks where someone with a smiley face tells you how glad they are that you're here. One day the fact that you're black or white, Hutu or Tutsi, Sunni or Shia will be nothing more than an interesting topic of conversation. One day the wall between Israel and Palestine will be torn down and all the children of Abraham will live side by side in peace. One day, one day, perhaps it will be Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. One day we will live in peace and a little child will lead us. Amen. God calls us to peace. In, in God's, God's justice, justice is, is our peace. peace. Christ calls us to be God's people. In, in Christ, Christ is, is our peace. peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with, with you. you. We believe in God the Father, from, from whom every, every family in heaven and on earth is named. We, we believe, believe in God, God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe, we believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the fervency of prayer that moves us to tears, we bring our hopes and fears before God. For a world so riven by injustice, fear and oppression, by violence and hate, by greed and malignant ambition. We pray for the wisdom of the prophets and for perseverance for all God's people to bring about change and righteousness and peace. For those who have been born or find themselves through no reason or fault in places of fear and danger. We pray for comfort and for strength. For a sense of worth and of not being forgotten. For the prospect of a future. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer for a church divided as much as the world on splits of human frailty and judgment on stylistic or doctrinal blindness we pray for a spirit of reconciliation spilling out into the world a spirit of radical generosity and generous welcome. A spirit of small activism. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a community anxious, for its children, for its seniors, for its jobs and workforces, for its families and extended families, for its fellowship and for its future. We pray that our love for one another drives our interaction and our eyes be open to see those who need lifting up. We pray that in all we do, even in small things, 
the spirit of activism leading us to build a better world, always plays as a baseline in the background. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering, struggling or sick, we pray that solace and hope attend them in their troubles, that you might heal them, body and soul. We pray for those on our own hearts. Whatever our passions are, not just those we know personally to be ill, the tortured, the persecuted, for those whom we long to see God's justice and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are grieving just now. For those who have mourned loved ones in ways they would not have chosen these last months. And those who may well have to again soon. For them we pray for peace and the knowledge that all pain is held by God, that all will be gathered up one day into the peace and joy of eternity, where there is neither crying nor sorrow nor pain any more. We hold in prayer this week those whose funerals are close, those who are saying goodbye to Elma Newson, Billy Forster, Stephen Johnson, Bobby Purvis, Janet Carey, and Eunice Mills. Grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those of us who perceive ourselves as lambs, we pray for strength and courage. And for those who are lions and leopards, for gentleness, we pray that one day the lion will lie down with the lamb, that one day righteousness and justice and oppression will be words we no longer need to use that they will be all bound up in the little child that will lead us into a future of faith and hope and love, that all three will abide. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
and together we join in the words our Saviour taught us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, the source of truth and love, Keep us faithful to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we, may we shine, shine forever, forever in, in your, your temple, temple, set, set on, on fire, fire with, with your, your eternal temple. light. Amen. Amen. Though many, we are one body in Christ. We, we belong, belong to one, one another. another. By God's grace, we have different gifts. We, we will use, use them, them in faith. faith. Rejoice in hope. Stand firm in trouble. Be constant in prayer. Filled, Filled with, with his spirit, spirit we will serve, serve the Lord. Lord. Eternal giver of love and life, your Son, Jesus Christ, has sent us into all the world to preach the gospel of his kingdom. Confirm, Confirm us in this mission and help us to live the good news that we proclaim through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.